Right, this is the uh, answer to Jason Clark's question, uh, and this is my own sort of feelings on it. Um, his question was, what do you do once you get to a certain size of a bolt action army? Do you make it bigger, or do you um, start making smaller ones or something like that? But um, I personally think that um, once you get to a certain size, like a um, thousand points plus, uh, maybe get the odd thing that you've already said this in your in your question. Uh, like get a mortar, uh, get some heavy artillery, um, get some choice pieces that you haven't got for that Pacific Army that you probably wouldn't run in that army all the time. But you can you can pull it out, put it in, customize the army, uh, make it sort of um, more attacking or defensive on what you're up against. Uh, also, um, I think also it's a good idea is to, to to have closure on a certain army and move on to something different, a different country, a different um, type, which you know it's better for good for painting and um, gets the mind flowing again, uh, gets all the sort of uh, historical fluff, not fluff, but this historical details on that certain army, sort of fresh in your head again, you know, new stuff. Instead of the old, the old same old army all the time. So it does. I mean, I'm terrible for starting something and then starting something and then starting something and then starting something. It's terrible, but I do get round to coming back to it and finishing it off. But uh, so I've, I, th that is the answer to the question. Then I would say, you know, don't make it bigger by adding more squads and squads and squads and more tanks, more tanks, more tanks. But get individual specialised units that you can swap in and out um, of that particular army. Okay. Good question. So, uh, uh, this is what happened today. Hello, it's British Legion, and welcome to one of my... Well, there's not too many days left of the great bolt action paint-off, and uh, I've managed to get some completion, some closure, on some of these little mini-projects I've been doing. I've managed to finish off my three-man para squad, command squad, and I've managed to finish a section of a of um, German Forschermjäger. Uh, so I've, I'll show you them in a minute. Uh, more importantly, um, I'm really, really excited. Uh, the first time ever that I'll be going to Salute this year. And that's coming this Saturday. And uh, hopefully I'll be bumping into Steve, who's going also. Aren't you, Steve? Yes, he's... Definitely will. Bumping into me, won't you? If you yeah, I'll be definitely bumping it because we're meeting up before salute. You see, um, I'm uh, he's invited me up to his hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm I was getting dropped. My wife's going to drop me off because she said don't drive up there because it's fifteen pound in car park fees. So she's she's um, lovingly going to drop me up there, and uh, I'll, I'm meeting Steve, and we're going to toddle up up to the, the salute venue. So we're looking forward to seeing Warlord games and um, Relic and uh, loads of other stuff. Uh, Res Warzone Resurrection. So we're gonna. It's gonna be. It's just gonna be like eye candy everywhere. So I huh, can't wait. And uh, as I say, Steve's taken out a mortgage, so uh, he can he can buy some more figures. So haven't you, Steve? So uh, he's busily painting away now. I can't believe it. I've finished for the day, and he's still he's still even though he's been playing Space Engineer. On the PC nearly all day and the and the day before. Oh, I must st stop doing that. I always do that when I'm talking on on. Have you realised what I do when I do these videos? I do this. That's ex I'm slightly exaggerating now, so people can see what I'm doing. I, I shake my legs. I don't know why I do that. I hate doing that. I'm no I'm not nervous. I do this all the time. I'm, I'm a veteran. I'm a YouTube veteran. I'm an old dog. <laughs> anyway, enough of that rubbish. Hey. Yeah, I've got that bit right. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, well done, well done, Steve, for getting your 500 subs. I'm really pleased. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm really pleased. What, what are you on? What are you on, mate? Uh, I'm on. I don't know actually. I, I can't. I, I can't remember. Uh, 400. And... <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's it's not about the subs. It's all about the subs. <laughs> it's all about the subs. Uh, anyway, we're all, we're gonna we're all be out of a job off uh, YouTube's. Changing uh, in in June apparently isn't it? It's some big overhaul thing. My son came down to me this morning and said, um, 
Dad, I can't get YouTube to play on my tablet. So yeah, he was right. Sure enough, there's a little tiny video in the corner saying uh, uh, from June something or other, you will no longer be able to watch YouTube videos on this device. It's a bit of a shame, but never mind. Yeah, it looks like they're, they're trying to sort of uh, have you uh, on the, the latest firmware. See, I've got it right. Anyway, enough of the uh, chit chat. I'll uh, take you to what you probably want to see or not. So here's my FGAs. Um, didn't really gel with these, painting these. I don't know why. Uh, but they. Oh, <laughs> in style anyway they come out not too bad the camo isn't that perfect but as I say as I always say in my videos they're wargaming pieces they're not for anything special so but they look pretty cool to me so thank you and um, I'll show you the paras I, like, I prefer the paras to be honest I'll show you these next Alright, this is my uh, British Para Command, a free free man squad. It's probably uh hang on, let's see if I can pick him up. I'll give you a closer look. Focus. By magic. Come on. There you go. Yeah, he came out alright. My uh, captain, or yeah, I suppose he's a captain. Lovely jobler. Right, so that's it. That's uh, that's my work done for the week. Back to uh, normal work of doing other stuff. And uh, I hope to see you uh, all at Salute. See you later. Salute. Can I can I have it washed please?